revision is really boring. Especially if there was nobody in the library. Look what I'm doing. Yeah, high school musical. Literally have nothing else to do. I don't want to do physics. Hi, when exams started, the library was just too packed for everyone to have a place to work. So another room called Archive Center was opened with 12 additional seats. Student workers in the library, one of them, were offered extra hours to just kind of sit there at the front desk, basically invigilating and looking after everyone who was working there. This is how my library invigilating work ends up. Nobody came, but look at that. It's plus 26 outside. Look at that view. It's amazing. I don't want to be studying. Who even thought of studying during summer? Oh. And back to work. Being paid for that, and we were still able to do our own work. Amazing. Victorian nature now, we can just replace that by the numbers that will fall out. So we've got unit I, uh, observation point, okay, that has our angle beta. Yeah, so that's quite nice. The single finite wire, it wasn't of course a realistic circuit. We just write it in terms of the, you know, for an arbitrary point it would just be written in terms of the angles that you would subtend to each of the wires from that observation point. Decomposed into two matrices which were multiplied together. The language that we have that does this very well now is Perl. Uh, if you've got a repeated bunch of things, uh, so maybe a file of customer addresses, for example, or a file of bank accounts, um, or an array of values, um, or a collection, then that means you're going to have to have a loop. Because uh, whatever processing you're needing to do with this, we're going to need to process each one of those. Pair of electrodes allowed him to fly an electric field. When he did that, of course, they followed the parabolic path. Not a very big deflection, so what he did was by just arrange an apparatus, you know, in this evacuated tube, so you had a path length beyond this field region, where you just basically amplified the deflection. It is 12th of May, and Kusu decided to organize Big chill. And guess where? Right in Kings. Lucky us. So today's Friday and my shift in the library is from 7 till midnight, which is crazy. But right now it's 11 p.m. and the last person left. So usually I'm not the kind of person to actually make notes on math, like using lecture notes, because you just like revise by actually doing exercises. But I kind of found it useful this time, especially with the notes that we have. So I'll give you a comparison. So this is the kind of notes that Math A had. Like, it's really easy, I agree, but the colorfulness is just is just amazing. And that's the kind of nose. Okay, that's there has been actually some red bits. Um but it's just one PDF file with all the notes. And I just can't explain how incredibly boring it is to read this black and white thing. And then going back to this. Like, look at that. So yeah, I'd say choose math A, just because of that. Any reason for them to sing at half past 11? That was 
was not even from the chapel, which was right opposite the library. It was just a group of people on the front lawn singing in Latin in the dark. But I guess kings had to be posh even in that. As you can see, the Easter term was pretty monotonous, nothing much was happening. Some subjects didn't have any lectures in May or April and that meant they could revise all day long. I'm saying that as if it's a very exciting thing. I still had Komsky maths and physics lectures for four weeks out of eight. And guess what? Of course we were examined on that material, which meant we had like 10 days to revise all that. You really had to know all the materials starting from October by Easter break. Otherwise you just have to cram it all. I didn't really want to film my revision because it's boring. So just bear with me for a couple of more lecture-like videos. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Cheers!